Hoi hoi hoi, it's Lewis C again, and for this video, I'm going to be doing a book review of The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. Hoorah! So, uh, this book tackles two different stories, basically one of which would be our character Ira, who just got involved in a car accident, and to be specific, in a car crash, and now he was trapped under the snow. And his wife, uh, Ruth, visits him, who died nine years ago. Well, the story happened in February of 2011. And Ruth kind of like uh, has like conversations with him, encouraging him to hold on. And they get to revisit uh, their life as a married couple. Also, you get to discover more about Ira Levinson, you know, his journey in the military and his you know life of being with Ruth you know there's struggles and like coping with a relationship on the other hand we get to discover Sophia who is already in her senior year in college uh, studying art history and she tries to you know figure out what's going to happen next to her life if she's going to be back in New Jersey or you know what art museum is going to be taking her and she just got off a relationship from Brian, who is, you know, who does a lot of wicked things. And uh, she gets to meet uh, Luke uh, in a rodeo event because her friend invited her to, you know, kind of like, just go out. There's this, like, uh, bull riding event or rodeo event. Well, sorry if I... You know, can, if I'm not saying those things exactly correctly, if there's any difference, I'm not like a cowboy anyway. But anyway, a bull riding event, and that's where uh, Sophia meets Luke. And because there was a scene here wherein Brian was still trying to quote and quote make amends to Sophia in a situation wherein Brian was drunk. Uh, so Luke saw it and seems like, you know, Sophia's being um, forced into something. So Luke came into the rescue and that's how, you know, they start to get to know each other and get to know each other's lives, like with Sophia about her, you know, life working with her parents in the deli. At the same time, like what her possible plans are going to be after college and Luke, you know, uh, juggling you know, making decisions in life because he knows it's dangerous for him to do bull riding, but he needs to kind of like save the mortgage of his mother's uh, farm or their farm. Um, how, you know, because of what happened to him in the past in relation to bull riding, and he's kind of still bull riding because he needs to pay off that mortgage. And okay, let me begin by telling you my criticisms with the book. You know, if there's, well, in ter it may not exactly have that uh, extravagant kind of a uh, zing as compared to the other books that I read, like Safe Haven or Walk to Remember, but it's still a pretty uh, decent book. Well, one thing that, excuse me, <laughs> anyway, so. One thing that to me just didn't really sit well, which I didn't see in other books by Nicholas Sparks, or at least from the books that I really liked by Nicholas Sparks, would be like that insta love. You know, right away they kind of like, you know, kissed. So <laughs> there was a spark where they kissed right away. So it was like, whoa, that's a little too quick, you know? And also, although this wasn't really like, negative for me but to some it might be something that you might not like about you know the stories were in you know the characters would say things like you know oh, you should go for this and then oh be careful you kind of like you kind of you get to be a little bit confused by some of the things that they're saying sometimes they can be kind of opposite to what they have been doing if that makes any sense so that just to me is um, something that I need to let you folks know. But to me, like I said, characters, maybe that's just the way some other people think. <laughs> it's just that, that insta love that's like, whoa, that's a little too like early. And it's kind of like, you know, it could be quite slow, you know, and quite dragging because you're kind of like seeing two stories. And 
Uh, I haven't seen the film yet, obviously, and I prefer, of course, reading this first before if ever that I intend to watch the movie. But I got to that point wherein, you know, because I've been so curious about the connection between Ira and Sophia, or, you know, Sophia's story to Ira's story, I tend to like, what I did was that I searched for the synopsis of the movie because <laughs> um, I also had this feeling that they might be different but yeah um, I decided to search for it because I wanted to know like what's the heck because it, it, it's quite you know slow but you know as you go along with the book okay and I need to like point this out this book review is not spoiler free I mean I've, I've always said that my book reviews I don't really claim that to be spoiler free but anyway <laughs> Enough of that disclaimer. Um, there's this part wherein, you know, they, of course, we all know that, as mentioned, like Sophia's uh, studying art history. And there was, there was a point in the story wherein they started talking about the collection that Ruth and Ira started collecting. So I felt like, whoa. I, at first, I thought it was going to be like, okay, uh, Sophia's going to visit a museum and then she's going to see all these artworks or something. But I thought like, oh, that's just like, I think I figured out that might be like the connection of these two. And well, along the story, you know, uh, they met, you know, they rescued Ira and, you know, um, this whole like auction happened of... The collection of I, the collection, the art collection of Iron Booth, and you know it's interesting. It's like this is the thing that I liked about the book, you know, and actually elicit emotions out of me is because sometimes it does take like small things in order to get like the longest ride. It could, I guess, maybe that's why it's so slow. Longest ride, <laughs> but it's not too. Dr it quite it could be quite dragging, but it's not too dragging if that makes any sense. <laughs> anyway, um, but it can bring. My, I'm, I kind of like thought of like the longest ride being kind of like it can take you to like longer strides, you know, and maybe it should be the longest ride. But what I'm talking about here is that the part we're in, you know, uh, even if Luke didn't have enough or much money. You know, he already had, like, it was, like, just enough for him to probably survive a few days. And what was left for him was, like, probably just gas money. He still decided to buy the painting of the one that was made by Daniel McCollum, if I got his last name correctly, which um, was happens to be, like, one of the kids that Ruth taught, because Ruth was a school teacher. Ruth taught, and... You know, that Daniel guy painted a painting of Ruth. Um, a lot of, like, you know, the uh, art collectors, you know, didn't really, like, want to bid on it, want to buy it. <laughs> and that was, like, the first one in the scene. And then when, you know, Luke felt like, because they think this is the important one, because it was the first one that was released, and that he was willing to kind of, like, buy off with, you know, the money that he has. It's like... You know, it's like, because the thing is, after, you know, uh, the will was read, the one who buys that painting first happens to inherit all the collection. So I was like, whoa, like, whoa. Which, every, it's like everybody wanted to buy that, like, different art pieces there by Picasso, all, all these other famous artists. And it was, and this painting that they didn't underestimate it, and Luke kind of like believed in that. I was like, whoa, that was just really wonderful, just really cool. So I definitely am amazed about that. It's like, and that kind of like turned things upside down for Luke. So that was just mind blowing. Now, overall, based on the pace and everything, how the narrative was synthesized, I'm going to be giving this book four out of five stars. So. Okay, guess that's about it for my book review. I hope you folks learned something, you know, or, you know, found something that you can pick up while you're reading this book if you are watching this video for that reason. Or, you know, hopefully I was able to, you know, feed something to you folks about, you know, what this story is about that, you know, you just want to check out. 
I was able to feed your curiosity. <laughs> anyway, so and also don't forget if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos. Also be linking down my social media accounts and handles, so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well. As always, thank you super much for watching. Let us continue seeking for wisdom and unleash the reader in you. Bye y'all!